What's going on folks? Fitzy with Fitzy Akin here. Uh, doing a little pond fishing today, kind of a remote location. I brought the, uh, the 129 solo canoe with me today. Um, just because the launch is a little, little uh, difficult. But anyhow, I'm going to try to catch, uh, I'm trying to focus on getting a big bass today. Uh, I've also brought an ultralight rod just to get into whatever else, but um, this is a pretty narrow pond. And uh, it's got a deep channel in the middle here. It's got some lily pads on the side. And then it opens up uh, further down. It gets shallow, but it's got uh, it's pretty choked up with lily pads. So we're going to try to fish this and then try to fish that. See if we can't pull a big one out of here. There's a lot of small bass in here. Um, but there are some big ones. Not a lot, but there are some big ones. So that's the focus today, man, is try to get a big old bass. And uh, we'll throw the ultralight also, see if we can't get something else. So. Just having a fun day. So stay tuned. See what happens. And I'm going to start right here, right at the launch. Do it. Okay, so I'm gonna start off with my ultralight. I've got a little uh, mule jig with a little swim jig or swim bait on there. A little, I don't know, I think it's a two inch, one and a half inch. So I'm just gonna throw this right in here, this little deep section right at the dam, see what happens. So. Here we go, we got something. You know what's nice about bringing an ultralight rod? This little pumpkin seed. When you're bass fishing, just to bring one ultralight rod is you're almost guaranteed you won't get skunked. So there we go, first fish of the day. It's a little pumpkin seed. And uh, I didn't get skunked. Been on the water for about five minutes. I'm going to throw a couple more times, and then we're going to get into the bass fishing. There we go. Nice pumpkin seed, not a bad one. Not a bad pumpkin seed. Myself some slack. There we go. Nice little pumpkin seed. Or bluegill. That's a bluegill, I think. Got some cool stripes, man. See those stripes? Cool. Oh, there he goes. Okay, let's get back to bass fishing. Look at this area right here in front of me. There we go. Oh, that's that could well, it's not a huge one, but it's a it's a bass. It's a bass. It's a small bass, but it's a bass. A little bit of line here. A, calm down, buddy. Calm down. There we go. First bass of the day. Little dude. Little guy. Look at how small he is. He's cute. Cute little fella, huh? Okay. There we go. We got a bass. The bass are biting. Got that big dog on the old uh, yum dinger, chartreuse tip, as Don likes to call it, the Fitz dinger. Small guy, bigger than the last one, but small guy nonetheless. Like I said, I know there's some big boys in here because I've caught big boys in here before. Hooked him in the bottom lip. 
There we go. Bass number two. Man, it's a gorgeous morning out here. Oh, th there we go. This might be a good one. Oh, yeah, come on. Oh, maybe not. Man, he was pulling like crazy at first. Another. Okay, 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 okay. Another of that same cookie cutter size there. That same cookie cutter size. All right, so I'm basically catching these guys at will. That's like the third bass in, I don't know, five, ten minutes. So I'm going to try to cast deep here, stay off the shoreline, and then I'm going to go into that shallow stuff. <clears throat> that really shallow, thick, padded stuff. Well, I'm thinking maybe there might be some big boys. Big boys and girls. Okay, I just lost, I didn't even really realize it, I just lost my uh, my yum dinger. And again, as Don from Bucktails Outdoors likes to call it, the Fitz dinger. So I just lost that. I already had one of my uh, Strike King orange and black worms all set up on the hook already from a previous fish fishing trip. So I'm going to tie this on. This is one of my favorite colored stick bait so we're gonna see what uh what we can pull out of here with this <sighs> come on dude come on. another one in that same same size range again Got sharp little teeth, man. These little guys. Ah, right, same size range. There you go, brother. All right, I gotta do a little coffee break. Coffee break time. Coffee break time. Oh yeah. Okay. Back to the grind. Back to the grind, Mark. <laughs> there we go. Get out of there, dude. Come on. Ah, jeepers, creepers. Went right in the boat with me. Another cookie cutter, small guy. There we go. Oh. Another small guy. God. Come here, dude. Uh, and get up here. Keep hooking in the bottom. There we go. Another small dude, man. A bunch of small ones.
Another small guy. It's turning into a dink fast, baby. Dink master. Where's my man, Ethan? Dink master. Dink master. All right. There we go. Got something on the cream frog. We got the bluegill. This cream frog works, baby. It just works. There we go, little bluegill. There we go. Another guy. Another little guy. Another little guy, dink fast. Calm down, buddy. Dink fast, dink master. To my man, Ethan. Here we go. Well, that one's a little bit better than what I've been catching. A little bit better. That might be the big end of the day so far. All right. I've only been out here, I don't know, not even an hour. I think that was like the 10th bass I've caught. They're all dinks. But I'm still making my way into that real shallow paddy stuff where I'm thinking. Some of the big girls and boys might be hanging out, we'll see. Get out of that stuff, there you go. Cut him out. Come here, buddy. Oh, another, another dinky do. All right, folks. Another dinky do for you. Been bottom hooking him. There we go, another dinky do. Oh, I got him still. I got him still. Oh, I thought I lost him. Yeah, still. Still nothing to write home to mom about. Huh. Missed the first hit. There we go. Pretty bass, look healthy, just not big. But right, that's okay. Yep. 
There we go. I got a bass. Yep. Oh no. Crappie. Uh, Come here. Come here. Got a crappie. Uh, there we go. A little crappie. First crappie I think I've caught this year. <clears throat> All right, folks, I think with that uh, that crappie, I'm going to call it a day or a morning. It's about 11-ish. Uh, I had a good day. I had a lot of numbers. I caught, a, I don't know how many bass, 13, 14, 15. Caught some bluegill, uh, pumpkin seed or two, and uh, that crappie I just caught. So uh, nothing big, nothing huge, but still a fun morning. So as always, take care. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you next time. Thank you.